everybody, welcome back to another My Damn Toys video. Today, ladies and gentlemen, we have some brand new, not not WWE action figure stuff, not WWE action figure stuff today, guys, but we are getting into some wrestling action figure stuff that I want to discuss, man, because this stuff, I feel like it, it kind of... It was like a grenade kind of dropped on the just wrestling figure community in a hole. And I figured I gotta make a video on this and talk about it. And I wanted to know your guys' opinion on it. And just get everything going, guys. So you guys remember the Super 7 figures. I think they were revealed like two years ago or almost two years ago. I think this was not 2020, but 2019. I think it was like in fall 2019. I want to say I was in Disney when they revealed these figures, if I'm not mistaken. But they showed them off, right? We had the full first set revealed. Then we got the second set later revealed to us. They've been up for pre-order for a really long time. We haven't even seen updates on these. We didn't really know when they were coming in. A bunch of knowledge and things of that nature. Kind of unknown about these figures. You guys remember it was Will Ospreay. We had Tanahashi. We had Okada. And you know, a lot of people were excited for these figures. Well, yesterday on Ringside Collectibles, guys, they posted up new in-stock images because I think the pre-orders for these things were shipping out. It was Super 7 figures. And they posted them up yesterday, guys. And I didn't know what the hell was going on. I got the notification. I have my post notifications for ringside collectibles turned on hopefully you have your post notifications for me turned on on youtube that is and instagram who cares but i get the update it says ringside collectibles just posted so i click on the post pull it up brad and what do i see i see this image of what's supposed to be kazuchika okada on my screen i'm looking at this and i was utterly confused brad i didn't know what the hell i was looking at this looks nothing like the images that we got like the prototypes or whatever they were back when they first showed these off guys they look completely different and I think, you know, everybody just just exploded. Like, everybody was going crazy in the comment section. They were they were like, what the hell is this? You know, I waited all this time for this. And they not only showed off Okada, they showed off the full wave. And it was insane, man. These images were just, like, mind-boggling. Like, these figures look nothing like the prototype images. And I'm going to put up, you know, comparison shots and everything. But, man, these figures look rough, man. I don't know what it is. Like, the necks look off. The skin tones are, like, real shiny and, like, off-looking. The proportions are wacky. They, the, the faces look nothing like the talent, or at least Okada's face looks nothing like the talent. Now, it's very odd because everybody was crapping on these figures and things like that. Like, even the poses of these guys. My man Balor Figs UK said, who even posed that sixth slide? I scroll to the sixth slide, and I see this photo of the Will Ospreay, and I was just, just ca like, I howled. I, I was laughing my ass off, honestly, looking at this photo, just thinking about the comments and everything like that. But these images definitely didn't do didn't do these figures any favor and I just think that I, I don't know what it was it's like and then I saw I think a guy named Brian Flynn he shared images of them because I think he had them in person I know that the major wrestling figure podcast did a whole review of these on Twitch and they said that they didn't look as bad and they didn't look as near as bad in the in the in the images that I saw from the people who have had them in hand and I'm gonna put them up on screen as I show them off and they don't really look as bad in packaging but these loose figure images of these guys just look weird man like the the shininess and the tall necks and the uh, like Will Ospreay has wrist tape on right he's supposed to have hand tape but his hand tape's not even painted or it looks like he has he has hands that have hand tape sculpted and I just don't know man I wanted to know what you guys were thinking about these because it completely blindsided me I mean there's a lot of things to take in when you see these images like the IWGP championships look look like knockoffs kind of like they don't even look like an official company made them at least in these images and it's so weird because the images that I've seen look different like they don't look like the same figures they definitely don't look like the images we got way back when you know they, they definitely don't look like the prototypes or those images we got long ago like the images we got long Long ago, they look much better painted. The paint apps look better. The figures just look like they handle better. They look like they have better quality to them. The accessories look a lot better. The interchangeable hands look a lot better. I don't know. The Okada... The Okada is the one, like, that image of the Okada up next to what we thought we were getting is insane, man. Like, it looks nothing like him. And, again, the paint apps look completely different. And I'm not sure. I'm sure the pandemic definitely had something to do with why these figures don't look exactly how they were supposed to or whatever. But, dude, I was howling. I was, I was howling at how bad these figures looked at first. But, 
you guys can see the comparisons between what we got. You know, you can see the comparisons between what we are getting versus what we thought we were getting. And I know a lot of people pre-ordered these. And a lot of people spent, like, I think these retail for, like, $45 a piece, man. These are not worth $45 a piece, at least in these images. The figures that I'm looking at right now, Brad, that is not worth $45. Especially when you factor in single-jointed arms and single-jointed knees. I know we get the cool accessories. Their accessories are fantastic. The, you know, the, the cloth accessories that we're getting and the accessories we're getting are nice. But I don't think you can really, you can really, I don't think that the price point really makes up for it. You know, the accessories don't make up for the price point of these figures, especially when you're taking in this articulation and the details just are not there. And dude, again, I just, uh, the Okada figure is like hilarious. Like it literally is hilarious. I do have a set. I don't know when exactly they are coming in, but I do have a set shipping to me. I bought them for one of my friends and I'm going to review them and then I'm going to ship them to him. So I will definitely be reviewing these sooner or later. And if they're going to be as bad as this, as they are in these images, then that will remain to be seen. We're going to do a full set set review on these guys and see what they're all about and I really wanted to give these figures a chance because I don't know if they're in scale with WWE Elite and AEW Unrivaled I'm not sure how good the articulation is going to be I don't know how good they're going to feel in the hand there's a lot of different things but a lot of people wanted to use these head sculpts as head casts and then you know custom paint them and make Mattel Elites out of the head sculpts and that may be something you could do or you know you could put the accessories with Mattel or something like that but these figures clearly are not what we thought we were getting and the likeness to Okada isn't there. The Will Ospreay isn't, it, is, isn't as bad, but that image of him turned around with the giraffe neck and the arms out to the side. Like, I don't know what's going on over here, man, but I had to put this up to you guys and let you guys know about this and, and talk to you about it because the full wave, I think out of all of them, I think Tanahashi looks the best, I think. I think Tanahashi definitely looks the best, but that's not saying very much when you look at the rest of them. I just don't know. But also, again, a guy named Brian Flynn, he posted up images of them, and I'm going to put those up right now because he put up images of them, and his images look way better than the ringside collectibles images. And since, you know, a lot of people were commenting on those images and really kind Kind of, you know, giving the figures a very hard time. And since those images have been deleted, you can't really find those images anymore. At least I couldn't. I think they're still on Twitter. Like a few of them are on Twitter. And then on the wrestling figure forums, they were still up a little bit. But you guys will see that the Tanahashi's head sculpt, like especially the smiling one, looks a little better. And the face sculpt of the Okada looks a lot better in Brian's images that I was looking at. And his images don't look near as bad. They definitely look better. They kind of remind me of like TNA Jax figures a little bit in the head sculpts. But as at the end of the day, they definitely do not look like the images that we got of the prototypes. Like, the prototypes had, like, a nice, like, flat, matte finish to them. The details were nice. They looked very high quality. And then these look super shiny. They kind of look like the, fig the re you know, that wrestling toy company or figures toy company or whatever that was. They made the Kevin Steen, and they made a few other figures. They made the Young Bucks. I think they made a Kenny Omega. They made a lot of other people and stuff like that. But these figures, man, I had to make a video on this. Get what you guys, you know, get see what you guys were thinking about these. I wonder how good they're going to be. I don't know. Would you, I guess we'll just have to see about it. See how everything plays out. See, you know, we're definitely going to get reviews in here as soon as I get them in hand. But what really has me worried about it is, first of all, like, the quality definitely dropped off. And this it makes me wonder how good are the, you know, the Zack Ryder and the and the Kurt Hawkins figure is going to be. How good are the Carl Anderson and Luke Gallows figures going to be once we get those in hand? I'm almost, I'm also, I feel like maybe those figures won't be as bad because maybe the pandemic, you know, like, bans and all these different restrictions probably it would have lifted after that. And maybe that's why these figures are so bad because this was as the pandemic was kind of developing, you know? And so, I don't know. I guess we'll just have to wait until we get them in hand. But, man, I had to put these images up to you guys, see what you guys thought about them. I had to discuss them. I had to see exactly what we were getting here and what you guys think of it. Am I insane or does that Okada, that Okada figure doesn't look good, man. Look at his chest compared to his thighs. Like his chest looks like Big E. His chest looks like Big E. And I don't know, man. The rest of the figure, I, I just don't, I do not know. I don't know. I do not know anything. We'll just have to find out, see what the hell's going on with these when we get them in hand, review them, see what all they're about, and maybe we'll have some more answers as we develop this story, Brad. But these had me cackling. These had me cackling. I was I was cackling. My son was cackling. My brother was cackling. Brad was cackling his ass off. So yeah, I, want, I wanted to see what you guys thought of these. If you guys saw that post, if you guys were, you know, interested in that or you guys saw that, but damn, the prototypes definitely looked a lot better. They looked a lot more official. I was really excited for them, but now I do not 
not know what the hell to think until I get them in hand and get them reviewed. But I guess we will have to see. Again, the Major Wrestling Figure Podcast guys did do a review on their Twitch, I do believe. I didn't watch the stream just yet. But people were, you know, they were, I think, from reports of what I hear, it did seem like they said that they weren't near as bad as those images. Again, it's very crazy that the images that Ringside posted seem a lot different. So I don't know what the hell happened or what the what the case was or I, I don't know. We'll just have to wait and see. But I had to put it up to you guys. Let me know what you guys think of that down in the comments section below. But I'm getting out of here, guys. Thank you for watching. Subscribe to the channel. I'm going to get into a random football shout-out real quick before we get the hell out of here. And this random shout-out is going to go to Caleb Maddox5 who says, Trixes. Cross the damn line, MDT, with an X. And yes, the serial tricks. I used to, like, want to love them, man, but they just they just couldn't get it done. Like, the flavor just isn't good, man. It's just it's just not, and I wish it was. And just silly rabbit tricks are for kids, and the tricks this is just cross the line. Don't be like the tricks! You cross the line, I've been beaten, broken down in